Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and today I'm playing in my sketchbook with an idea for something that I want to paint bigger. I am doing a bunny and you're going, but that looks like a piece of candy corn. No, it's a bunny. This bunny happens to be very triangular and has these big, long, kind of rectangular, slightly rounded off feet. He's got his little bunny hips, his bunny fluff, like that. And there is a kind of a bump that goes across his back here. But all you're seeing of his head are these amazing ears and a little bit of the side of his cheeks. And you're going to say, hmm, that's, that's actually kind of cute, isn't it? So he's got little toes. And look how you don't have to be super, super specific here. I'm going to do this in watercolor, so I don't need to have a super, super specific piece of art. I just need a general kind of layout. And this is in a watercolor sketchbook. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, paint it in right over all of my right over all of my pencil lines. I'm not worried about making this beautiful right now. This is figuring out something. And look at that. Put that little slope back on the ears. There's a little crease right here. A lot of this is mapping it out so I know what I want to do. I want to start painting this. So I'm going to paint the whole thing with water first. And I'm just using, this is a Cat's Tongue Faux Squirrel by Zen Art. This is just a glass of plain water. My brush might be a little bit dirty. The water, actually what it is, the water cup down here. Look at that. It's kind of gross. This water has been sitting on my desk for a little while. I want to loosely get the colors in for this bunny. I am going to dry off where his little tail is because I'm going to try and keep that from getting too much paint in it. So I'm just going to dry that off. I think I'm going to just throw a little bit of some splatter paint on there. I am using the Decadent Pies from Prima Marketing. This just happened to be a palette that I thought would be pretty for Bunny in springtime. Before I dunk my paintbrush in my water, in my coffee, I'm going to move my coffee to the side now. And I'm going to grab some of this really pretty blue. It's very springy blue. I'm just dropping it into some of that. Some of that wet, you know, the wet paper. Rinse that off. I'm going to grab a little bit of this kind of springy, olivey type of green. It's a little bit murky little bit not much it's very pretty actually i i like that it's a little bit more of a natural green i'm going to drop some of that like at the base of those all those little flowers that are up there and whoop, i'm getting some green on him that's okay if you think about it you've got You've got the green grass that he's laying in. He doesn't take baths. He cleans himself, but he, do he doesn't take baths. So just go like that. So he can have a little bit of green on him. I may go ahead and just dabble some of that out. I wasn't intending this to be a real 
a real painting. This is just a, a test. So I want to test these colors. There we go. Oh, that's a that's actually very pretty. I sprat I s sprayed on some of that blue. It is the blue number 36 in the Decadent Pies and the green number 34 in the Decadent Pies by Primo Marketing. Not sponsored. I'm just using the paint because that's what I've got. I think I am going to put a little bit of water on the bunny and maybe dab out a little bit of the green in his ears. There we go. Not a lot. There's still some spots and that's okay. I think just to keep it sort of loosey goosey and flowing here, I am going to grab, this is the kind of yellow ochre-ish burnt, um, well, it's not a burnt umber, almost a burnt umber-ish, very light, but it's a very natural color. And I'm going to use that with quite a bit of water and to put that on his little feet down here. Whoop. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it blurring out. But maybe what I will do is go like this. Ah, it's there. See? What I'm going to do is just go like this and blot some of that. Now that's blotted. I'm going to grab a bit of this sort of gray that's on my palette. It's a mixture of a whole bunch of different colors. I guess what you would call it is palette mud. I am going to go and put some of my darker little bits in. Kind of like that kind of around that leg, coming down. Keep it around the bunny tail, the little fluffers. Just working it around. Quick and easy. This is sort of my base color for the bunny. I like that up there on the ear is a little bit darker. I think the paper's dried out a little bit up here, so that makes it nice. I will probably drop a bit of pink up in there, but not until after that's dried a bit. I'm going to take some more of that concentrated color and put some dark right down here around where that little bunny tail is. I'm probably going to put the tail in with a bit of gouache. I'm gonna put some dark in. I am really just taking the mud, whatever I'm getting here, put a little bit of dark so that we can get a few of the kind of creases where, you know, bits of the bunny leg is folded over. A little bit darker down here under the foot. That top of his leg is actually more lit up, so I'm gonna let it light up here. I'm gonna come back up here and put a little bit of this sort of, it's a bit more brown now because that's what's on my palette. These are all the Prima colors though. They're all just you know, coming out of the mud that's there. A little bit darker right up here. Maybe a little bit more of the brown tones that's on my palette. Kind of down here in the, the shadow inside the ear. His ears are turned, so they're listening back behind him. I like that. This is a really quick and easy, peaceful type of painting. And you saw, 
it was basically a triangle with a couple of little rectangles and a couple long pointy ovals for his ears and a circle for the tail. That's it. That is it. I'm going to take my paper towel and just sort of blot in just a little bit right there. And I want to make sure that this line right here is a little bit sharper. Not sharp, just a little sharper, a little more shadow on that edge of his leg. And right here, a little sharper. We're going to go in and detail on his feet. I am going to do that after I have dried this a bit. But I'm just letting this sort of flow around a little starting to get a, it's starting to dry out just a touch so I can start putting a bit more detail here and there just touching it here and there not worried this is like I said a test for a bigger painting that I want to do but oh this is looking so cute wouldn't it be great for a spring card or you know that that special special greeting. I like that a lot. I wonder what's on his tail. Oh, there's some kind of like black paint got on his tail. I'm just going to sort of wipe that out and maybe even just smudge it around a little because you know what? It doesn't have to be perfectly wiped. There's actually shadow in anything white, you're getting more of the colors that are around it, not just the color. There's no actual pink in here. I'm going to take just the tiniest little touch of this. It looks like a really pretty fox, fox color orange. But if I put a lot of water in it and maybe put just a touch of blue, it's going to tone it down. Maybe I can put that inside the ear just to give it a wash and then when I grab out another palette that has a bit of a yellow a bit of a pink I can do that Ooh, that's pretty okay this is another palette it is another Prima marketing palette I'm not sure I don't I don't have the little card so I don't even know what the name of this one is it's kind of your basic colors I'm grabbing some of this pink, just a touch. I don't want it to overwhelm. And since I already put that orange, that brownie tone in there, it's going to turn this into a lovely, ooh, pretty, lovely kind of orangey. orangey pink more natural oh I like that maybe even take an another little touch of that orangey color put it down deep and up in the corners sweet now I don't want it to be quite so quite so strong but I want the color to be there so I don't want to to dab out everything but I didn't want the orange to be quite so strong down there in the corners there much more natural more natural shadows there see I'm even kind of painting with my my paper towel and moving the paint around just a smidge I am going to hit this with a dryer. All right, hit that with the dryer. And let's look at this. Let's let's go with a little bit more palette mud. It's, it's a mixture of the kind of the two different blues, which is sort of like a Prussian blue and an ultramarine blue, and a bit of the the orangey brown to give us a nice neutral gray. That's pretty. I'm going to use that to just up on the very tip of this brush 
to give me like a little, almost like using ink to give me a little bit of detail. See, like that. I'm going to I'm going to blur that that line. It's not going to be an outline here. I'm going to soften it. Don't worry. But not every place is it going to get softened. It's kind of fun to use a paintbrush as if it were like a pen. So I'm holding my brush kind of like I hold a pen. Well, actually, I like that a lot. It's kind of the, it's, it almost feels like blocking in, but I think this might even be getting close to the, getting closer to the finish line on that. I am going to blur that just a bit up into the foot. Because it has all those blues in it, it is not as re-wettable. I like seeing the pencil lines underneath of here still. Oh, that just looks so sweet. I want to put a little bit more of this sort of burnt sienna brown. I'm going to mix it with the palette mud so it's a little bit darker, a little bit less little bit less orange and look ah uh, these cute little feet not worried about it being perfect you know this is a bunny put a little bit of that brown up here on the back of his head Maybe a touch of it in his little hips, his little bunny hips. Take just a bit of plain water, smudge some of that around, allow it to kind of glaze. There we go. Oh, this is sweet. I think just because I have him laying in the grass, I'm going to take a little bit of that green and mix it with that brown tone. Put some of that right up underneath. Swing that down. This is a sketchbook drawing. It is not meant to be a perfect finished piece of art. As I said to begin with, we are just figuring out a future piece of art. I'm going to grab just a little bit of this Holbein gouache and put some of that right here on the tail. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think I'm going to put a little bit up here on his head. Just kind of lighten it up just a little bit. I'm just going to blot. I don't want to take it all off. I'm going to put a little bit of a highlight up in here. High point on his back. Or her back. It, you know, I don't know. I just keep saying he because I think of Peter Rabbit. All, all laying there. Enjoying a springtime day. That is making me really happy. 
I hope that you have been enjoying this quick little lesson. If you're finding some value and enjoyment out of it, I hope that you will click that like button. And if you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Look at that. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I want to see you back here again really soon.